Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. So I filmed a bunch of videos yesterday, including this one, and then half of the footage disappeared. So now I am refilming three videos today, which kind of sucks, but whatever, let's get into it. Today, I am filming a video about what I missed about my cycle while being pregnant. Don't get me wrong, let me just put a little disclaimer in. I love being pregnant. I am so grateful for that experience. I am grateful that I was able to get pregnant, that the pregnancy went so well. All in all, like a really chill pregnancy. The last month, I would say, is when it got difficult. I would say around the eight month mark is when I was like, okay, I feel pregnant. Some things are starting to like ache and hurt, but it was month nine where I was like, this isn't really fun anymore. Um, I'm currently in that month nine while I'm filming these videos. There's a lot of exciting things about having a baby and the baby coming actually. One thing I was really curious about and am curious about, I don't know which tense I'm supposed to talk in right now, is how my cycle will return, what it will be like, what my periods go are going to be like. This whole just postpartum phase, I have no idea what to expect. So I'm very curious about my postpartum like period and cycle and what it's going to be like. Is it going to be a new sort of different sort of cycle or is it going to return to what I'm used to before having a baby? So I'm curious to see. But today I wanna to talk about the different aspects of my cycle and period that I missed while being pregnant. So the first thing and like the biggest thing I missed was having a cycle, having something that I could count on like clockwork every single month. This is how I'm going to feel at this point in my cycle. I can expect this at this point in my cycle. So much of pregnancy, especially your first pregnancy, where you have no idea what you're gonna feel at certain points. You have no idea when you're gonna lose all of your energy and be super exhausted, when you're going to be super energetic and nesting and all that sort of stuff, whether you're gonna be sick or not, with aches and pains. Having a cycle that I can count on is something I missed a lot while being pregnant. One thing I kept thinking during the first trimester is this feels exactly like my luteal phase. It just feels like a drawn out luteal phase. And essentially that's kind of what it is because you get pregnant so your period never comes, but so you're kind of in that limbo of your luteal phase. And just, I was so exhausted, so fatigued, so just like didn't have any motivation or anything in that first trimester. And it felt like that luteal phase. And I was like, I want my period so I can get my energy back. Obviously I didn't want my period because I wanted to be pregnant but I just wanted energy. I can't wait to just chart and track things again. There's so many different aspects of your cycle, like little oddities that I'm excited to track. So I'm going to be making a video in October, I believe, about how I plan to chart postpartum. So you can look for that video if you're curious about that. But I am just super excited to start tracking and charting again. The next thing is being able to get excited about all things like period and cycle related. It's hard to get amped up about talking about periods and talking about cycles when you don't have one. And I just felt like it was hard to connect with my followers that were asking period cycle related questions when I didn't have one because I'd be like, oh, you know, when I was charting X, Y, or Z or when my period X, Y, or Z, it'll be nice to get back into that mindset of like having a period and being able to connect on that level. Now I have experience to where I can like connect to those who have tried to get pregnant, those who have been pregnant, those who are postpartum. And so I have all these new kind of areas that I have experience in. So I'm very excited for that. And finally, ovulation energy. I know like most of this is about just energy. I'm so excited to have energy back. And I know like postpartum is a whole different ball game. I just don't know what to expect. And I have low expectations of like what to expect out of myself. But once my cycle does return and kind of is regular and I can count on certain things again, I do love that burst of energy that comes at the end of my period leading into ovulation. It's it's a great thing and I love it. And it's probably like one of my favorite aspects of having a cycle. Saying that nesting energy is next level great, but that is more surrounded doing things around the home or baby prep. Nesting energy for me wasn't oh, I wanna like bust out all these videos and content and you know work on all these contracts with people and courses and this and that. Like nesting energy didn't influence work for me, but ovulation energy does. And that's what I want more of. Like I'm really excited to get back into being more focused on work. 
obviously I don't know how that's gonna go with having a baby like that new balance but I'm excited to figure it all out I'm excited to see how it all goes I'm gonna be very easy going with myself just not have a lot of expectations to have it all together and have it all figured out because I know that I won't <laughs> so let me know down below if you guys missed having a period or a cycle or if there's anything you missed while being pregnant being able to have a glass of wine or like a cider in the summer thank you so much for watching today's video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with more of me and how everything is going and does go down the road because I'll definitely keep you guys updated and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.